Hello, welcome to Your Art Matters Week. It is official. We have kicked off Your Art Matters and I am Michelle Lloyd. I'm founder of United Art Space. This is my amazing, amazing friend, Sharon Griffin, who is a brilliant artist. And uh, Sharon's joining me to celebrate the kickoff. Hi. Yeah, so thank you for being here with me. So exciting to have you here and have everyone joining. I've got to say, we have 10,000 people taking part in Your Art Matters Week yeah. from around the world. Yes. <laughs> we just hit 10,000 people this morning. Wow. Um, so that blows my mind. And I just think, <laughs> can we just sit for a minute and just imagine there's 10,000 of us committed to celebrating art, Your Art Matters, and everyone is going to be here for the next week. So 10,000 people all around the world, we're all going to come together and make art together and celebrate each other. And I'm really, really, really excited about that. So thank you to everyone who signed up. There's probably a lot of you that are thinking, what on earth is this week all about? Because you're new here. So massive, massive welcome, first of all. Let me just explain really quickly where your Matters Week came from. So um, it was six years ago, Sharon and I sat in Sharon's pottery and I had this crazy idea to set up an online platform for artists. And Sharon was going, yeah, this is great. And I wanted Sharon there because I was really scared to do it by myself. And she's amazing. And um, Takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember Sharon saying, yeah, we could... Um, we could set up this little local um, space. And I'm like, no, no, I want to take over the world. <laughs> global, darling, not local. <laughs> I think, with a, I think that I'm was like, the... Yeah, I really had this vision to bring people together yeah. around the world because we have this amazing technology to be able to do that now. Um, so anyway, six years ago, United Art Space Online was formed and it has been the most incredible experience. We've done so many events for free and uh, art challenges and we've built a platform to help people sell. And we've got another platform. I've got a big announcement on Thursday that's coming and it's turned into these amazing experiences. And we do Your Art Matters every year for free and it coincides with our birthday so it coincides with that day that I walked in on Sharon Did it and really? then yeah well no. it well it was the January I walked in and gave us gave the idea and it was the April that we launched I it. remember it being yeah. really cold yes it was it, <laughs> it was, was freezing um and so that's why I <laughs> love doing this Your Art Matters event and it's to bring people together from around the world we make art together we've got an art challenge you'll get a free copy of our magazine the digital version of our Your Art Matters magazine where we have amazing people feature inside that magazine. Um, this time, I think we have um, articles on managing uh, time as an artist, on using your intuition as an artist and loads of art recipes and things like that. So that's all free. So it's a big, big celebration, which I'm really, really grateful that you're all here to share. So that's your Art Matters Week in a nutshell. So basically, the art challenge has gone live today. Everybody signed up, has received that in an email, and it's gone out on our social media. If you haven't signed up yet, there's a link up above that you can sign up to receive the daily challenge and all the notifications for the rest of this week. There'll be a daily challenge until Friday. And then we've got a video each day as well. So tomorrow we've got a Let's Make Art Together session. So we'll be live together um, and I'll have some people join me and we'll have a picture on the screen from tomorrow's art challenge and we can all sit and make art together at the same time. Um, <coughs> then Wednesday, all the times for this are, have been emailed to you, by the way. Um, they're all at different times. Uh, Wednesdays is a talk where I'm inviting guests to talk about what art is and we'll be making art again. Um, that session is just really important. We'll touch on this today about this week and why we should be talking about what art is and getting you connected again to your art making process. We're going to delve into that in a second. And then Thursday, I've got a big announcement to make and I'm going to talk about how you can find your voice as an artist. <clears throat> and then Friday, we've got a drop in studio session as well. So that's a two hour session where we'll make art together. So there's lots of good fun stuff going on throughout the week. Um, we've also got competitions running as well. We like to give out prizes during this event to make it fun. So part of the 
prize winning entry this time has been to share this event with a friend. And we've got three prizes up for grabs. So one of them I'm releasing today. So the winner for the sharing of this event with friends <laughs> is Joanna. Joanna, I don't have your surname, but it was Joanna with a BT internet email address. That's all I'll say. Um, I've reached out to Joanna this morning. Um, so thank you, Joanna, for sharing the event with your friends and inviting people to take part. There's still time to take part in this. The prize to Joanna is a £100 voucher. So that's to um, go and buy some art materials. Um, so yeah, so we'll email Joanna. Um, and if you still want to take part in the competition, you can take part until Thursday. So we'll announce the rest of the winners on Thursday. There's going to be some other ways you can win prizes as well, which we'll announce tomorrow. So keep a look out on your email. Um, so, okay. That's all the that's all the you know the stuff out there, the logistics of the of the event. <laughs> no. So the theme for this this event um, is art is, and the reason that we wanted to create this theme is because we've been noticing a lot recently, you know, in the world that we're living in, that's very 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 overwhelming and really I think there's so many opinions when it comes to art so many labels and at the moment we see people getting stuck with their art making because of judgment I was talking about this last week because of what people feel their art should be because they want to sell it and will this type of artwork sell so should I change it to this I think the very nature of us being overwhelmed as well. We were saying this before we came on mm. that, you know, when you were talking about what art is to mm. you, it's an escape mm. and it takes you away from the to-do list. And for some people, it's really difficult to flit from the to-do list, from the overwhelm of life and just start making art. You know, one of the big things, I've got it up on my screen here when I was asking people what their struggles are, when it comes to making, um, a lot of people, a lot of people said it's making a start. You know, I really struggle mm -hmm. making a start, breaking out of my comfort zone. Um, starting, a April says, trying to loosen mm -hmm. up, obsessing all the time about getting it right, <laughs> um, prioritizing what's important. That blank page, beating myself up because I'm not making art on a regular basis. There was so many so many comments letting go and just going for it needing a concept or an art discussion um so it's so important to us isn't it to make art it's so it, it's all of we're feeling overwhelmed I mean personally speaking we're feeling overwhelmed I'm feeling overwhelmed sometimes on a regular basis of whether my art is good enough am I good enough I've got that imposter syndrome Oh, I really want to make things. I really want to. And there's blocks everywhere. And it because it's so important to me to get my art right, you know, and it'll, it'll never be, it'll never be perfect. But it's so important to do it. It's the whatever mm. it is that we artists are. Mm. To be able to make art is so important. So then to get past all of those to-do lists and all of those blockers and all of the you know, there's 10 things that we have, you know, that we've got on our, you know, as soon as we wake up in the morning, we've got jobs to do. It gets in the way, doesn't it? Mm. And we really mm. just really want to get those crayons out or that, you know, the opportunity to draw, to paint, to, to create anyhow. But mm. we sometimes we can't, mm. which is why you're brilliant. <laughs> this is why we're doing this. <laughs> well, this is why this, this week we want to help you <coughs> just connect with the process again. So when you connect with the process of art making, and bringing it back to the fundamentals and the simple, the basics, and connecting with that feeling when you're making, instead of us connecting with, oh, what if I don't get it right? What if it's not this? What if I'm wasting money? What if I'm this? What, you know, all this noise in our heads. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. All of this is really, it's limiting and blocking, <coughs> isn't it? So you that's what, 
there this week is about resetting <laughs> resetting and taking a moment to just connect again connecting with you know what's inside of you and really owning who you are the stage that you're at the art that you make and connecting with that and being and being courageous and saying yeah this is my art this is where I'm at right now we've had people join us in these events where they feel so inferior to others because these other artists are further ahead and their art feels immature but what you've got to remember is whatever stage you are right now and whatever art making you're making right now is not going to be the same as tomorrow or next week or next month or even in a year. We've seen massive mm. steps forward in people's art making when they've had something in their head and they've not been able to get it out. And then a year later, their artwork is unrecognizable from the year before. But also, I think we're so critical of ourselves and usually when when somebody makes art, you know, you'll be critical of it because maybe you've got something in your head, I've got something in my head mm. and it comes out and it's like, uh. um, but someone else can see something really mm. amazing in, in your work. And sometimes if you're holding that back and you're being so critical, I think it's great to look and think, oh, I'd like to improve that next time and I'd like to try this. Yeah. But it's that bullying, isn't it, of, oh, this is terrible, this is terrible. <laughs> Um, and feeling like you're you're rubbish um so this is what we, we want to release all of this this week we want to connect with the process and celebrate whatever stage you are whatever art comes out of you this week to own it and go yeah this is what came out of me <laughs> yeah. this is it this is it and been accepting let's not, let's not judge it, it. We're, yeah. not, we're not judging it we're not going to judge you <laughs> on whether it's like amazing or it's about just pouring out letting out and and releasing that judgment because that's the best way to start connecting with yourself yeah. again yeah. and getting back to basics um so because art is powerful we were talking about this before we came on and we've been asking you all as well you know what what art is to you and art is powerful we underestimate it all the time we underestimate the power it has on ourselves but also on others to help others understand more about themselves and the world we live in. Even if you make art and you're making it for yourself and you think that it's, I don't know, I'm just using examples that I've been given over the years. Some people say, you know, my art is just a therapy, just a therapy. <laughs> it's like an apology word, isn't it? Yeah. Like just... And you, you can't ever, and sometimes people can't ever imagine how their art could impact anyone else it's just a tulip or it's just mm. just a piece of texture that I created. But art is such a powerful language. It's such an exciting way to express ourselves visually, especially when we can't articulate it. But that's, other people can see so much. In, that's why in, we need art, because we can't articulate it. Yeah, not that's everyone what, can. Not everyone yeah, can yeah. use the words. We have to use the language which is visual which is tactile which is it which makes, is colorful yeah, which is yeah. instant as a as an image or a, yeah. or a touch or a smell and when you think about all the power that art has it has the power to just take you out of yourself for a moment and then back into yourself it has the power to give someone else hope we've seen that recently with the ukraine ukraine yeah. sunflowers how i remember your birds you know when you made yeah. your birds during the covid it was giving people hope. The like symbol that, during, the, during the COVID, yeah, I mean, birds, COVID, yeah. Like, but but the, in the lockdown, it it you know never underestimate <laughs> the power that your art can have on other people. It can take someone out in a moment, just removing the noise and just give someone something to explore and feel. Mm. It's incredible, even if it's just for a few seconds. Yeah. It's powerful. So. Oh, it's exciting so this is what we want to celebrate this week and so um let me just say really quickly the art challenge has been released and the art challenge today is art is and there are some examples in the art challenge we've sent it you via email so go and check your email there's a download if you want to share your work with us you can share it on social media you can share it in our pop-up facebook group we've got a facebook group as well we'd love to see there's a hashtag um, and I'll write it up on the screen. It's Yam April 2022. Uh, I'll put it on the screen so you've got it. But 
this is today the art challenge and we're gonna we've got Sharon here to help us with this oh. to how yeah how we can explore art is and this is open to interpretation which I know can be really difficult for some people to go oh my gosh art is how do I how do I put this now into a piece of artwork so you could literally tackle this in so many different ways you can just you can mind map it you can just look out your window right now and and sketch something that you can see do it now on the on the video with us you can look to a poem uh you can use your words so you can just write in a, in a nice way what art is we've got some great feedback from people tell us what you <laughs> Feel art I'm dying. Is. I know. Really not, I, know she, I really I find it very, very difficult like, to just shut up. Michelle, Michelle, be quiet. I'm going to pass to Sharon now and have a, have a drink. You know, that's, <laughs> this is a real thing. We we understand each other, I think, now because we've worked mm -hmm. so close with the, with one another on these kind of things. I under I I am learning to listen, <laughs> <laughs> which is very difficult because I'm a doer. I'm a I'm a fidgeter and I'm a doer, so I've got to have a cup of tea and I've got to, you know, my mind is full of things and it gets very, very busy very quickly. So I'm learning to actually step back. Oh, take a breath. Take a breath. Think about the things that are around me and just absorb other people's yeah. voices for a while. Yeah. You know, because it's because it's always there. My voice is always in my head. Mm. So mm. I wanted to share this with you, mm. um, if it's okay. Yeah. Um, this is my things to do list um, this morning, and that was I was up until four o'clock this morning writing a bid for um for a, a, a project, a group project which is local to me. Um, and I couldn't stop doing that. So then I had, so I've had four hours sleep. I was late to take my child to school. So my partner took the child to school. Um, I then stopped and had a cup of tea <laughs> and then turned up here late, scribbled everything down. And then this is exactly what I think or I believe that other people are in. We are all in a situation where everything else gets on top of us. And we get bombarded, all of us, before we even wake up, which is why we, I'm learning to take a breath and to stop and just to be in the present, which is the mindfulness I think we all need a little bit of because mm. the world is overwhelming. Mm. So mm. on my list to do, I have things to do. Reply to Matt's sister with a couple of fawn options. Reply to Bath Uni. You retort. Talk, talk to Michelle. <laughs> um, cancel the refund. Get Dan to make a decal. Meet Wayne at six from the workshop. Organise parking at Ceram Park, London. I've got an exhibition later on in the week. Exhibition, um, send images and edit it. Ed, ed, it goes on and on and on. And that's just my work part. All of that stuff, all of that stuff, it all feels like too much. And that gets away in the making of my art. So... This is my own personal thoughts of <clears throat> art is. I thought, where do we start? Where do I start? Where do I start? I don't know where to start. There's too much going on in my head. So I thought, I'd just dictionary. Dictionary, what, what is art? Art is, um, according to the dictionary, is, um, uh, where is it? The expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, mm. typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Emotional power. Oh, I love that, emotional mm. power. When mm. I was at uni, I was told not to do the emotional part of the work that I was making because I was mm. a potter. Mm. And pottery is a product, you know, mm. in the traditional sense of things. But even in pottery, you have to have an emotional um approach to it because you love it you feel passionate about it and that just doesn't switch on or off does it you can't just oh sorry okay I'll just won't approach my artwork without emotion <laughs> it just does not happen does it we can't do it can't just, we're not robots we it's, have to approach it it's 100% With emotion yeah. personal yeah. experience our story our backstory whatever's going on today whatever whatever we want to talk about or, or make a statement about or or research or be curious about whether it is a beautiful beautiful little flower or a or your scruffy dog or or something in your home it does not matter what it is it, the most important thing is to free up our brain cells so that we can relax enough take a breath and learn to play again mm -hmm. so that's what I've mm -hmm. been doing and this is my my art is 
absolutely 100% about making art that is raw mm. <laughs> and that that is unapologetic and it sometimes makes people very uncomfortable which mm. um gets in the way of me making it so that's yeah that's all to me <laughs> yeah this is a good thing to discuss because <laughs> this is um another point of this whole week is because we get in our own heads about what other people expect or should I make this or should I make that? And all the time, you know, if you went to art school as well, and by the way, if you didn't, it's fine. <laughs> you know, like, like, there's a lot of people who, there's one of the biggest questions I get asked is, I didn't, I'm not educated in art. Is that okay? Yes, Absolutely. it is 100%. <laughs> you go look in the art world. There's so many people who are not trained, formally trained, um, but there, there are so many labels that start to blur the lines of what we should be doing. And there are lots of, I've seen it this week where people have gone to galleries and said, oh, there's loads of this type of artwork. And then it can start to derail you to, to you thinking that's the art that needs to be now. And it isn't. The art that needs to be now is your art. There is no other way. <laughs> it has to be from you, the way you see, or the way you see and the way you feel. And, um, this this emotional piece as well, I just want to say that a lot of people feel that there are maybe has no emotion. Tell us now in the chat, do you yeah. feel that your art has emotion? Because if you don't, it does. <laughs> I just want to say <laughs> yes. that. Because... Yes, it does. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but again, it's another block sometimes that people have where they go, I don't feel that my art is skilled. I don't feel that my art really says anything. It does, because I, I, I did a demonstration the other week. You can just draw a line on a piece of paper, and that is saying something. <laughs> it is speaking to us. One line on a piece of paper yeah. can be open up to loads of interpretation, mm -hmm. can also evoke lots of emotion, angry emotion. That's not art. It's just a line. Yeah. Or it could be. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's really oh, nice. Oh, that so many times, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I could make that. My child could do that. Yeah. Well, that's not art. It's other people's opinions. That, you yeah, know, and we hear them everywhere from our internal voices or the yeah or the people that are around us or the how we've been brought up to know that art is not important. Yeah, but actually, art is the most important thing that any human, um, alive, um, or not, um, can make, and it, it affects us as a humanity, as a human a human race. Mm, it, it really it, does. Yeah, it is yeah. integral to our creative being. Mm. Mm. that same line that you draw on a page can have a positive emotion as well it's here look I did it, I did it it's still there that's, that's my artwork I'm going to put it in a frame you know you can put that in a frame someone might welcome it and go you know my life's overwhelming this is a reminder for me to just slow down maybe it's a reminder that life's too short you know anything can yeah. be interpreted you know so whatever you're making can be a, a trigger to someone's emotions to help them question to help them remind themselves of oh yeah you know I need to do more of that or do you know what I'm saying here it's so powerful that sometimes you can't see it and <coughs> one second going back to the functional I like good. this we've got I so know. much to say <laughs> Take a breath, Marita who's on our team you'll see Marita's name pop up because she's a real big supporter inside our community she's our community leader uh, I remember when Marita joined us years ago, she makes functional items, you know, functional cups. And and um, I remember Marita going through this, like, what what's the emotion there? But, you know, the emotion is, you know, it, when you sit and hold something, you're yeah. feeling it. Yeah. You're feeling that cup in your hand. You're taking that moment to sit and have a cup of tea. There's a whole feeling there. Yeah. And when she tapped into that and then came up with, you know, my work is made to be held and it's made to be used. And, you know, again, it's, it is, it's triggering that emotion, that feeling yeah. inside of us that goes, oh, <laughs> doesn't have to be a positive emotion either, does it? No, it doesn't. The, um, what I wanted to say or add to was there's, um, I think, I believe that there's three things or three elements to making art. There's the artist themselves. There's the, um, the, the art work that is being made. And then there's the audience that are viewing it. So there's those three elements. So if I make if I make a piece of sculpture, um, I my intention for that artwork is for there to be a reaction to it, you know, either positive or negative or indifferent. But I do not want 
people to walk past it. I want them, I want there to be a reaction. That's the whole point of the artwork, because I want an emotional response. Um, if the if the viewer, the audience, the person that walks past it, or the group of people that walk past that work, and they then stop and discuss it, or they they view it, or they have an interaction with it, whether it's a you know a touch or whether it's um, a conversation about the work or whether it's something that is um, that is reacting emotionally on an emotional level, mm. um, I want that part of the I know sorry not I don't want I know that that part of the conversation is out of my control so the person who looks at my work I have no control over how they are going to see it because they have they come to that conversation with their own story their own set of rules their own belief systems their own background and that is just as valid um, to me as a personal sculptor, you know, I, I'm an artist that I make sculpture that wants to revoke these conversations. So that is the point. So there's three things. It's the, the artist, the artwork, and the audience. And the three work absolutely separate from each other as well as gelling everything together mm -hmm. <laughs> and fighting, consistent. It's ever shifting, mm -hmm. completely ever, ever shifting. And there's no right or wrong. There can't be because it's so subjective mm, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah it's subjective I always get mixed yeah, up with yeah. objective subjective but it's subjective yeah, because it it's personal mm. it's it's incredible it's such an incredible thing to do <laughs> yeah so so today's challenge around art is 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 <clears throat> and for people who may be stuck on getting started that's what we want to help you with today so we'll give you some tips of just getting started because some fun things some <laughs> fun things yeah because I, I see here that there's lots of people saying yeah I totally understand this so you know at the moment I, I feel um I feel art is connected to my emotions but at present I can't get I can't get them out and mm. we're seeing this a lot one of the biggest barriers to people making art we've seen inside the group that we shared out um, is that stuck I'm stuck with getting started that's one of the biggest um, so we'll start with that one today because there's lots of things you can do to <coughs> just get started um, and you know that that's what you can do during this session now you can go and grab a pen a pen and some paper right now um, and there's some quick things that you can do I, this is one that I love to do is just draw a dot draw a dot on the paper and then, um, and then draw another dot, and, and then just start to put a line on it. And then, uh, oh, what was the other thing? Like a number two, you can draw a number two on the piece of paper, and then just draw a shape around it, and just start to see where it takes you. Um, one of the things that I love to do with you, we could probably do that now, is the um, we do this with our kids. All right, we'll draw the top of a head. Give the consequences. And then and then <laughs> draw the body underneath and just pass it round. You know, sometimes it feels silly, doesn't it? It feels silly just drawing a number two on a piece of paper and then seeing where it takes you. But it's that process of to get started, you need to just make a start. Mm. And it sometimes doesn't even matter what it actually <clears throat> is. It's just the process of, of using your hand and your materials and and just getting started with something. Another great one is drawing the breath. So this one was um, an amazing workshop that yeah. I had with Daxa Palmer. And it's it's on our YouTube channel, actually. But I always do this now when I want to get started. Before I start making artwork or before I do any kind of uh, creative writing or anything, I sit and I just draw my breath. And that's basically you just put your pen on the paper. And every time you breathe in, you draw a circle. And out. And you just keep drawing in a circle. And you just keep, keep drawing like that. <laughs> That's a really great way for being mindful. I love this exercise. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, you just keep going and you draw big, massive, mm -hmm. concentric circles. It it gets you started. Whenever I do that, I one, just the breathing. When you start to breathe like that, I can already feel now that 
and feel more relaxed straight away just from doing three breaths mm. and it slowed my brain down you know that mental yeah. chatter whenever I do this it slows that mental chatter down and then it's that mindfulness that you just said if you just focus on every single breath and what you're trying to do is every breath you draw at the same time so when you're doing that you're literally focusing on every time I breathe I'll draw and if I pause for a minute I stop you'll find sometimes that you'll want to draw and you're not actually taking a breath and it's that mindfulness that brings you back to right I'll just slow down and, and mm. so it's it's bringing you back into this present moment your breath your breathing right now um and then, and then you end up with this beautiful drawing, this wibbly wobbly drawing of your breath, and that is your breath. And I have so much fun then with filling in the gaps mm. and connecting. Um, sometimes when I pause, I can see the dot, and I I I recognise those as the. It's just lovely. It's such a nice mm. thing to do. So it's just to get started. So have you got any tips for getting started? Because you you know you said you know you get into that to do list and then. You're a full-time artist, it's mm. your living. Yeah. So you've got to really find ways, haven't you, of getting yeah. in the zone and getting started because if you don't, you don't. <laughs> you don't. I think initially it was very difficult to know what, what my methods were. Um, so when I first started, I was a teacher for a long time, and then when I first started being an artist, it was, um, it was, quite, it was quite tricky to know how one day was great and then the next day wasn't um, and how sometimes I'd be so frustrated uh, um, because everything would be blown up in the kiln or um, because I hadn't wedged up properly. I just didn't, I didn't know my initial, my initial methods of making methodologies. Um, so, but now I do because I've worked at it for a while and I've stopped to notice and, you know, did these kind of little exercises. So if I'm, um, somebody asked me if I, if, if I well, why don't you have an assistant to do all your wedging of your clay and your, you know, in the you know the the getting the slip onto the clay, which is a really service of those of you who don't know, um, and I and I actually like that. I like that part of the process of preparing. So for me to get into that mindset, I put a specific song on, <laughs> which makes me go, ah, I'm there. It's like a trigger. So a little trigger that gets me from out of domesticity mode, out of domestic life into, I'm now an artist. And this is my beautiful, lovely world that I were, I just, it's like a universe. It's a special, and I know that you know that, I know that you know that place that I'm talking about. Um, this mm. other worldliness, mm. other place that you go to. So I use triggers. One of them is a song or an album, you know, um, some um, particular group of songs that, um, that take me on a little journey and I channel that and another way is um, I need to move my body so I I'm I'm a physical I'm doing this all the time with hands those of you can't see me <laughs> I'm physical um, gesture all over the place and to ground me I have clay in my hands and I wedge it and that act of wedging is the similar kind of breathing grounding technique um, uh, being mindful and I'm literally wedging up the clay and I'm in a repetitive mode it's makes me my body warm I'm while I'm doing that I'm thinking about what this sculpture is going to be I've got my intentions of the week I've got things like little reminders around my workshop um so you know to to keep me grounded to keep me back into focus if my mind starts chatting you know to myself a lot which it does <laughs> and then um and then I'll make but I'll make in very short bursts so I won't I won't be there I won't be in my workshop making hands-on physical making more than three hours at a time or two and a half hours at a time so two and a half hours and then that's it I'm done and I have to have a break go out of the workshop go and do the food shopping whatever it needs to do mm -hmm. and then I'll come back and do another two and a half two and a half hour session and I'll make a few pieces at the same time so I don't be pressured on, it's got to be finished. It's got to be finished and it's got to look good and it's got to be brilliant. You know, and all of that, ah, I need it done now. <laughs> um, so I'll play. So if, if that isn't working, then I'll play. 
and I'll do things like, should we do it? Yeah, I was just going to say, <coughs> uh, Mandy's just given a great tip here and we're just oh, about on. to do it now. So oh, okay. um, if anyone's struggling to connect with emotions, find an object and draw the texture under your fingertips. Yay. Don't look at your paper and then layer on top, listening to music, allow your mark making to be free. Look at the overlapping marks that provide beautiful shapes. This is, this is lovely. This is yes. what we're going to do this now on the table behind. So we're going to do some blind drawing and just not look um and this is what this week is all about is just loosening up looking at those lovely marks yeah rather than judging um the total piece so Ch sharon just came now and said how do you feel drawing me because i do not like drawing um i've got to say i am slapdash abstract sharon's a figurative sculptor and amazing figurative drawing no person <laughs> And she's like, would you like to draw me? And I'm like, oh, this draw on Matters Week. And I have said, just go with the flow. So um, I feel it's like outside so your comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's chucked me in the deep end massively today. Um, so we're going to go with it, though, because I'm here to show you all that, yes, it doesn't matter whatever my, my blobby mess comes out at. It's fine because there'll be some lovely shapes in there. <laughs> so we're going to do that now and we're going to have some fun. That, that's the whole point. We have to have You've got to make it enjoyable. Yeah. There has to be real high notes and real low notes and all those bits in between. It can't just be all really serious. It's going to no. look great. You know, no, it can't. Gotta, no. You've got to play a yeah. bit sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's let's get the table set <laughs> okay. up. Okay. And then I'm just going to quickly, as we're, as we're getting things set up, I'm just going to read out some uh, messages that people sent us because it was lovely to hear from you all of what art is. So... Um, Diane says it's my lifesaver. Michelle says my soul. Annette says it's magic, an extension of myself in a form I hope others find joy in. Said Molly. Dorian says art is imagination, healing, and joy. Jelena says art is life. It absolutely is, isn't it? Jay says art is connecting. Andrea self identifying. Um, Matty says it's self expression. Life affirming, awesome. <laughs> That's great. I was from Helen. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Jocelyn um, says something that makes the world a better place. Yeah. Can you imagine the world without art? Yeah. Imagine it. It, would, it just will. You just can't, can you? Um, Christine says it's an <laughs> escape that creates happiness. Kirsty says it's a therapeutic es escapism with the power to create joy. Alexandra says it's life, love, experimenting, and the most high form of culture. Mm. Yeah. Um, Trevor says here art is what stops me from killing myself I mean yeah. that that's such a it hits you in the heart that statement but I mean I've been there yeah art has saved me yeah. that's why I do what I do today because I, I've been in some really dark places and art has the power to save uh, ourselves again from exploring this emotion Trevor you're not alone in that yeah yeah um, art is subjective art is freedom uh, Simon says, a uh, means of transcending the world around us. Yeah, ourselves and time. Absolutely. I think, yeah. you know, the way, sometimes the way you make your artwork then helps, it helps, for me personally speaking, it helps me understand the world that I live in and why I feel the way I do. When I make art, sometimes it feels like it's nothing. And then I see things. We've done this so many times where we'll make, and it feels like you're just playing and it's nothing. Mm. And then you see it about five years later and you go, oh my gosh, this wasn't nothing. This was yeah. this was something that I was feeling. You just didn't know it at the time. And this is why I love art as well, because it can, you know, when you look back over years, it can answer so many questions. Um, but then also that transcending, I think, to others as well. There's so many people that have looked, you know, at your art and they see themselves or they see shared understanding or, yeah yeah I love what you said the other day when you had your show and you said mm -hmm. it's an invitation for people to talk about things that talk about things yeah. yeah um a place to explore and be curious it's self-development yeah. it's unspeakable feeling yeah an unspeakable feeling a presentation of inner experience and emotion art is medicine yeah it's oh this is a great one Ronnie says art is a way back to yourself oh yeah Ooh, <laughs> that's like a really good one, one isn't it oh it's a way back to yourself because yeah. at the moment if you're feeling detached from yourself 
you know, a lot of people here have said that I feel all the emotions, but I can't connect to my art. And sometimes that just the process of making will bring you back to yourself. It does, doesn't brilliant. it? it takes That's that a brilliant just, sentence. <laughs> even that drawing the breath, yeah. it's bringing you back, back to yourself right now. It's like this is... Not yourself as in the person who does all the shopping and the, and no, the housework, but the, your, the self, your, your true self. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Isabel says it's all around it. What's, it's what makes your soul feel. Yeah, art is a way to deal with pain, troubles. Yeah. Gives me strength, says Lisa Beth, to put on a brave face. Art is more complicated than it looks and sometimes frustrating, but with a positive pay. Yeah, it is sometimes frustrating. Yeah, <laughs> it's healing. It's love. It's necessary. It's soul uniting, soul lifting. The divine. Um, emanating from spirit, speaking through paint, paint, canvas and brush. Constant disruption from my comfort zone. It's so amazing to hear all the different interpretations Art is everything. Art is a way to express your unique creativity. <coughs> it's essential. It's like breathing. <laughs> a pulse seen from the outside. That's a good one, yeah. Art is my sanity. It's my therapy. It's highly personal, isn't it? So, I mean, it's it's completely personal to yeah. everybody. Everybody's art. There was the, Who is it that someone's, someone said that the only person that is best at making your art is you is you <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you I mean, no one can do your art the, uh, better than you can no it's so true like you're the best artist there is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you really are yeah. because you are there's no one else like you there's no one else that holds the pen like you there's no one no. else that's seen what you've seen or feel what you feel and when you start to acknowledge that and you go, yeah, yeah. yeah. And owning exactly who you are right now. <clears throat> so grab your art materials, unless you're driving, of course, then don't. <laughs> Just think about it. If you're in a safe, if you're in a safe space, let's do it now. Let's get, get the art out. And um oh, I love this and lies. Art is the mountain before me when I lack courage. Art is the mountain I stand on when I'm brave. Oh, that's so Ooh. lovely. So it empowers <coughs> you. The art empowers you, and those are really nice. Ooh. Yeah, Rebecca says I couldn't put it into words, but well said. It's bringing you back to yourself. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's really wonderful. Tell us in the chat then. What art will you be making for the <laughs> art challenge? Tell us if you do. You have any instant ideas of what you want to make for the art is challenge? Remember, it can be just anything you can just put some wavy lines on a piece of paper my map let us know in the comments and then afterwards we'd love to see your work as well so let us do it are you ready i am are yeah. you ready for this yeah got two pieces of paper <laughs> so i'm so sorry but i'm not sorry because it's gonna be fun <laughs> so i i think i've got the pressure I've got the most pressure because it's like, oh, I am. There's no pressure. I am well known for, I'm putting there's pressure that, on myself. Yeah, exactly. See, this is an example. The least, there's no yeah. pressure. There's no pressure at all. Because it's, it's literally just you a know, process of, we're just going to make some marks. It doesn't even matter, does it? It's what? having the confidence. Because art <laughs> is so important to us. It's having the confidence to learn to let go. Maybe that's of one the control. of the, yeah, maybe that's one of the, the reasons why we get a little bit stuck sometimes because it's so personal isn't it <clears throat> it's so personal and you know whatever comes out of this piece of paper now you know that other people are going to they're going to judge it they will because that's what we do but judge it read it to make life a little bit more difficult for myself as well i'm going to use my opposite hand oh i'm not going to look at the so so well, this is the challenge. This is the challenge. That, I'll do it too. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> challenge is that it's just a <laughs> Michelle and I are going to draw each other's portraits, but not looking at what we're doing. So we can we can't we've got pieces of paper underneath here, and then over the, our hand, we can't see what we're doing. Does that make sense to everybody? So you so could do this now. You could if you're in a, if you're in a space, you can um just look out look out your window look at what's in your room right now and just cover cover it up it can be with a cloth or a piece of material or anything so i'm going to use my opposite my other hand you have to find well. out where the page is <laughs> to try and use the oh my god you do two 
Two hands. Oh, that's nice. I like the idea of that. I, do, oh, I just don't think I can actually possibly do two hands at the oh, same time. No, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That's just being greedy, isn't it? <laughs> I might use my feet. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's let's go with this. So no cheating. Let's spend two minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're doing this and it really makes you just observe and notice where the pressures are so for the darker lines. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> In advance. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I forgot where I am. I well, think it may as well be in the complete. <laughs> Good thing I have so many teeth. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> you can do it. Come well, on. I can't. I've forgotten if I've made you with eye. I think you might have three eyes. But do you know, this is really good because if you if you do this at home now, it's really interesting because the more you look, you know, if you if you just spend time just looking and not actually looking at your yeah your um, drawing, you really start to to see the object. Not You've that you're an object, hair. obviously I'm looking at Sharon, but if you're looking at an object, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, you start to see. I, I did this the other day. Sorry, I've stopped now because I'm talking. But I did this the other day with um, brushes, paint brushes, and I really just yeah. start to notice all the negative space and the textures on the brush that I just you know when you take time to really see what's in front of you yeah so this is a great way of just seeing this is a great way of connecting because I'm looking at now all the I'm looking at you know when you just said negative space I'm just thinking I'm not just going to draw you I'm going to draw the chair I'm going to draw the handle the door handles behind you there's the garden the lovely garden behind Michelle that she never shares. Beautiful garden. <clears throat> I really like the colour and the tones of the, of the shirt that you're wearing. Not just the outline of your shoulders or, you know, I'd, I've started with the eye. I think I know where the eye is. With the eye, with your eye. But actually I'm interested in drawing the like there's a little button on your on your top, which is really shiny. And you wear a necklace. What's a necklace? Oh, it's kind of just quietly concentrating there, won't we? <laughs> I, can't, I can't check to see where your ears go in. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Is that the hair? <laughs> I'm <hope> so. <laughs> Of a teeth. <laughs> <Totally ridiculous. laughs> right, I'm going to put the chair in. Just to, just to place you on something, because I really like the shapes of your chair and the lines. And the way it feels the, to sit on, I imagine it's, oh, I know I felt sitting on that chair, it feels really nice. How's everyone getting on? Have we had two minutes? No. We've had four minutes on this. Oh, right, we'll stop now. Shall we go? Yeah. Okay. Actually, supposed to be your earring. Oh, lovely! So I've obviously, that was supposed to go over here. What was the what was the <laughs> ch -ch 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 
you, what was that that you were doing? That was your hair. I expected, but, I expected that, sh- sh- you know, that drawing, that mark yeah, making. Yeah. Bigger, you know, and yeah, more. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, me too, yeah. Wow. There's your shoulder. I got the I've shoulder got, right. I there. really like, I really like that shoulder. Is this so, my nose and my face here? I think, yeah, that must have been your, your mouth there, but it felt like it was way down here. <laughs> It's really interesting. Do this. I love Honestly, it. Oh, do this it. is so You funny. know, you don't have to do it with it's a really face. Crying. You can do it with a, a plant or anything. But it really, um, again, I think it just helps you just free, free up <clears throat> and make some nice marks. Can you see how different the marks are, though? <laughs> this is what, when you do this, it's still, like, look how different our mark making yeah. is. And that's your voice coming through. You can't take that away. No one can take that away from you. The way you... Even just doing this exercise, the way you create your marks, the way you'll describe a shape that you, you know, you, that you're looking at, will be so different to anyone else, and that should be celebrated. That's you. That's that's that's, that's, <laughs> the you know, that's not Sharon, but the Sharon was doing doing that was so fun. I feel mm. so fun. I, I, feel, feels... I feel just so really. I've got lots of. Oh, what's the? I can't. I, I don't have the words to describe just, feels... how much fun. That yeah, was. Yeah, it was, and it just felt so freeing and just so silly. And the, yeah. I never give myself, I never allow myself any kind of silliness because art is very serious. Yeah. Oh, no? this is something to, so you know, I remember when I was at art up. school as well, you know, um, going back to basics just felt like, oh, you know, I've done that. I've done basics. You know, it's not, it's, that's, it's not yeah. serious enough. I need to be, you know, executing art. And yes, it must level. mean something. It but must have meaning and where value. The beauty comes in and, yeah, and I like my wiggly marks. What um, if and we were to, if we were to take this further? It doesn't look like a face. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sorry, go on. If we were to take <laughs> this further, so if so, the next if you are that kind of person who really needs to take it a step further and work into it and do something with it, you can, you can look at um, like the lines, the way that the pen or the paper or the the form was held. You can take sections from it. You can. You can maybe do a series of them if you want to, just look in that. That reminds me of Ed Bath Monk, you know. Oh, does it? it, it I really like, this is like, it looks. It doesn't remind me of sorry. Ed, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> I want to talk, I want to talk, I want to talk. No, that's so excited. Carry on. <laughs> it reminds me of Ed Bath Monk, why? No, um, his paintings rather, you know, like, because yeah. obviously there's the screen, but then also he's the sick child and, and yeah. all the... I don't know, the mark making and the, the shape, it just reminded me of that. Mm. And I like here how you've got these, yeah, these lines here. Nice. If I was to take this further, I would choose a section of this that I liked. So I'd have a look at it a bit and then I'd and then I'd re- recreate it somehow. I'd add some colour to it. I'd maybe take out, I've only got one, one colour here. Mm. Um, I might put some colour in there. I might take out elements of Michelle's... Um, lovely blouse, you know, and the richness of the fabric, you know, and maybe, you know, print it or you could do anything you want to it. There's so many different ways, so many different things you can do. Mm. Look at that line, texture, tone, color, form. Yeah, like sorts. Sharon said, you, this is it's such a great exercise because you can use something as your starting point. You know, this week is about taking the pressure off. You don't have to replicate the thing that you're looking at. You can use it mm-hmm. as a starting point to take you on a journey. Mm-hmm. So it could be a vase that you start out drawing and it might end up being a bear or a dog or, you yeah. know, <laughs> Bob, Bob Ross it, <laughs> style it out, you know. It's like, it oh, I love Bob thing. Ross. Yeah, he's amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's it's about just, just having that freedom. So this art is challenged. I don't want you to freeze mm-hmm. going, oh, I don't know what to do for art is... Just do whatever comes out of you. Just see whatever comes out today. Use that intuition. Don't overthink it. Um, Just choose something and just really either either go with the flow and make it fun like this. Or if you do want to do something more serious and you think art is... Something grounding and something that is channeling. If you want to make a masterpiece up, do it. Yeah. This week is about whatever comes to your, your, your gut feeling go for it. You might want to recreate a masterpiece that you look up to, you know, an artwork yeah. and have a go. So um, this is, yeah, your time now. Four minutes of fun, like Tracy says. That took four minutes. That I value time. that so much. That, that set me up so, for the day, that is. <laughs> yeah. So if you've got a friend, go and do it today with a friend or oh, a relative so cool. or 
go and hang out the other one should we quickly do the other one where you draw the, the oh yeah yeah let's do that this is a good one okay. for loosening up um, how about some paper so we'll quickly do this so we'll just draw it back and forth but like yeah tracy said this can take four minutes you don't have to do like one, you... hours and hours and hours of this um, and you can do this globally, you know, you can swap. So it doesn't have to be immediate. So obviously Michelle and I are in the same room vicinity as each other, but you can you can swap a piece of work around the globe. You know, there's 10,000 people in this group You can or who are accessing this. You can reach out to someone and say, would you like to take part in this game of consequences? Mm. It's really good fun. It's a really good way of doing oh, something. Sorry, I said, I like the paper. It's just torn. Yeah, <clears throat> oh, it's torn out of nothing. Exactly. Thank you for raising that because I just want to say as well, this week, you can literally create art on the back of an envelope when you're, at, you know, traveling on a bus or wherever. Um, do it on a post-it note. Do it on anything. So, yeah, this week, use any kind of art materials. Um, <coughs> There are no rules, just use whatever's going. Cornelia Parker uses everything. She even uses a shed and the things that are in it that you don't want to throw away to, mm. and then blows them up. <laughs> um, game of Consequences. Those of you who don't know what Game of Consequences is, you have a piece of paper each and then you at the top you draw the head and then you fold it down. You don't let anybody else see what kind of head it is. So it can be an alien, animal, human, whatever head you want it to be. It can be... Have, 12 eyes doesn't matter it can be really realistic with hats on if that's your thing or big earrings hoop earrings massive eyes whatever um and then what you do is you fold it down and the you basically attach like the area where the person has the neck so we'll do it so yeah but yeah. we're not going to look at each other's drawings so, so we'll do it very quickly do, I, I always forget I'll just so, do this. so what am top, I doing first you're going to do the head right, up okay. to the neck right okay <clears throat> do it over here So really quickly, doesn't it can you can spend as much time as you like on this or not. And then you put two little arrows, and then once you've done once you've done the, the head, you fold it down so that the other person can't see it. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, only revealing the bit where the the um, the top of the neck is and then so you draw it over paper and then you fold it over so it looks like that <laughs> and, then you pass it on. <laughs> and then you pass it over and then the other person then we take it in turns to draw the body and the arms <clears throat> up to the top of the legs it doesn't have to be this way it can be um it can be um oh i can't talk when i'm drawing <laughs> i can talk when i'm sculpting but not when i'm drawing Oh, this, so we're going to draw arms, legs, uh, sorry, arms, um, body, and the top of the legs. Oh, I haven't finished. Oh, so you're this, really is, quick. this is good as well. If, you, if you're bogged down with life and you've got children and, you know, sometimes it can just be really hard to flip from the to-do list and from family mode. And, and this is something so fun that you can just, just I don't know, it's just, Connecting with the creative juices and <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, sorry, um, just, you just did it really <laughs> quick, really, really fast. I really know, <laughs> oh, right? Oh, so, lots of people here saying I did it really <clears throat> bottom through, and a few people did blind drawings of us. I'd love to see them. Oh, that would be really so good. Let me put on the screen if you want to share your work with us. Here is the hashtag. Let me just do it. <coughs> so it's, um, Jan April 2022. So we've got a Facebook group, and you can also put your work on social media, uh, Instagram and Facebook, and use the hashtag, and we'll find we'll find your creations from today because we'd love to see them. So do your creations from today, and what art is as well. And uh, what we're we doing now? No, we're doing the legs. The legs, just the legs. Legs and feet now. Just legs. Finish it. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, legs and feet. All right. So you can chop up the body as many times as you like and um, and then just swap as many times as you like. So, you know, you can chop it into the hair. You could do, you know, someone does the... So it's kind of a... You, know, you get the gist, don't you? Yeah. 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 It's good fun. I mean, some, some people have done, like, 
octopus legs and all sorts, <laughs> tides. <laughs> there we are. Um, and then you'll have your creations at the end. Do you have a consequences? That's, um, and this is a good way of then and letting go. Is this a bit of fun? He's having a bit of fun. are really good ways of letting go of control over yeah. something that yeah. you don't know and you want to explore in a playful way and it's so it's so good to just loosen up and have fun it is especially if you're feeling like you're putting too much pressure on yourself you're you know especially if you if you maybe created an art piece <laughs> i would have never thought of doing that <laughs> this is why it's good to do this with with other people as well because you see you like I've loved doing this with you over the years because you'll see, especially with kids, yeah. like you'll see how the how the kids approach it and they'll they'll create a shape and you think, well, I've never thought about using that kind of shape before without and any idea. Yeah, of what yeah. It's going, what the end result is going? They just yeah. let it go, don't they? Let it happen. And I think there's a big part in in this week as well about you know <coughs> we'll just wrap up now around <clears throat> releasing this inner child you know like bringing this inner child back because if you're staring at a masterpiece and you're getting stuck you know sometimes just taking yourself back out and just doing something um fun like that can just bring <clears throat> perspective back to what you're doing but also it, it it does make you feel excited like you giggle and it brings that feeling back of silliness and and fun and um I remember I, I just watch the kids and the way they approach their art making and it's so incredible to see and I think that's what we need to tap into sometimes Spark and ideas doesn't it just yeah and that an fearlessness idea. where they just yeah. create their work and they go wow look you know look at this and a lot of the time if we create things like this we hide them because we feel like oh that was rubbish that doesn't look anything like Sharon and we hide it away but <laughs> I don't know. we should we should you know just be know. Oh, and this is why we've it got feels like how I feel <laughs> <laughs> we have this, this community though to be open and this is this week I don't want anyone to judge anyone you know we're not judging each other we're literally just celebrating everyone's art making and everyone's efforts um so please don't be afraid to share if you feel embarrassed by your artwork please just share it with us we're not yeah. here to judge you and that's what I want everyone to remember this week is whatever you see we're not judging we're not there's no competition no there's no yeah. you know prize for, we we, je we purposely don't give prizes for art making because it's not about that <laughs> it's yeah. about celebrating everyone um so yay to art david absolutely yay, yay. so um there we go so that was kickoff to your art matters week so we've got an art challenge every day and tomorrow we'll be approaching a subject together we'll put it up on on the screen if you can't watch live by the way the replays are available until the 12th of april and um, there's going to be lots more fun things happening. We've got that video tomorrow and then some more ways that you can enter competition and win things as well. So thank you, Sharon. Yay. Thank you for kicking off oh. Your What Matters week. Oh, could thank you just grab that? That, that Morgan, Your What Matters there. This is something that my daughter did in the last one. Look at that. There you go. Let's end on that. Your Art Matters. My daughter did that last time. <laughs> your Art Matters, mommy. I know, I know, I know. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, I'll send you an email with the links to everything else that's coming out this week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Please share your creations inside the Facebook group and on social media with the hashtag and we'll be looking out for them. And take care, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us and making a Monday morning bright thank and you. fun. Take care. Bye. Bye.